Hey there guys, this is Eric from Twitch Alerts, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Stream Labels. It is a program made by Twitch Alerts to allow you to add many different text files to your stream, such as most recent follower, subscriber, top donator, and anything else. So to get started, you're going to want to log into your Twitch Alerts dashboard, and once you're here, if you look over on the left sidebar, here you'll find Stream Labels. So you'll want to go there, and here just has uh, some information. But what you're going to want to click is the Download Stream Labels button. This will take you to the Chrome store. And here you're going to want to click Add to Chrome. Then press Add App. Then you will see a Google Apps bar down here pop up. Before closing it, you'll probably want to right-click the Twitch Alerts icon and press Create Shortcut and uh, check it for desktop, just so you don't have to worry about opening the Google Apps menu later. So press create, and now we will see I now have a desktop icon. So now you'll want to click this. It should open up a window here, and give it a minute. It has to pop up the Twitch login. Once it appears, you'll want to log in. Once you are logged in, it should eventually prompt you to choose your output directory. So once you click this button, it's going to ask you for a location. You will want to have a folder made. This is where it will store all of the text files that will be used and add to OBS or XSplit or whatever streaming software you're using. So I'm just going to make a new folder on my desktop and I'll call it stream labels just so I know where to find my new stuff. So once you have stream labels set up, you'll see a dashboard of your recent events. This is just for easy use. So you can look at this while you're streaming. To make any modifications, we will want to go to file settings. And here, there's a whole load of files you can modify. So say we want to go to our most recent follower. And instead of having it say most recent follower, we can have it say greatest person ever. And then we can press save settings and it will now save that into the file. To add your stream labels files to XSplit, you're going to want to go down to add, find text, and then check mark use custom script. Press edit script. And now up at script template, you're going to want to click the drop down and find load text from local file. Then over here on the side, you should see some ellipses and you can click to browse to your local file. Here I am using most recent follower and I can press update text, and press OK. Here you can use uh, your control key to scale it down or up. And then you can drag it out until it is sized how you want it. You can also use shift to scale as well until you get it how you want it. And then you can also right click and use scroll or fade if you want special effects. To add your stream labels file to OBS, you're going to want to go to sources and right click, press add, and press text. Name it whatever you want to. Here you can customize your fonts and all that. And then down here, press use text from file, press browse. Scroll down to file the file that you want inside your stream labels folder, so you may need to navigate to it and find most recent follower since that's the one i'm trying to use and press ok if you preview you can see that my file is added and i have it named to add your text file to obs multi-platform you're going to want to press the plus below sources and press text press ok and check mark read from file then click browse and find your folder for your stream labels and find most recent follower 
and now you can see it is added. In closing, I would just like to point out there is a restart session button here. This can be used if you decide to use any of the session files in stream labels, it will allow you to reset them. So if you want to reset a follower goal per day or say you're keeping track of donations and you only want to keep track of the donations per, per that session, this reset button will reset that and clear those files out. Also, this uh, dashboard, you can change what you want it to keep track of. And also, when you are using these text files, make sure to leave stream labels open. If it is not open, it cannot write to the files. If you have any issues with Twitch alerts in general or stream labels, feel free to shoot an email to support at twitchalerts.com, and I will be sure to respond to you as soon as I can. Have a great day.